good morning students welcome to online class today we are going to see new ideas and new beliefs in history the lotus flower is a symbol of purity truth and divine power karma means action dharma duty or obligation bhakti prayer or faith dhyana meditation gyan knowledge advaita means non duality atma means soul or life moksha liberation or nirvana now we will see in detail about the story of buddha and rise of buddhism writing of upanishads and about mahavira jain and rise of jainism the story of buddha siddhartha also known as gautama was born about 2500 years ago in a sakya kshatriya gana in lumbini nepal his father was the king of kapilavastu good morning students welcome to the lotus flower he is enjoying his life he got married with princess one day he saw an old man a deceased person a dead body and an ascetic deceased person dead body and an ascetic he was so much moved and distressed on seeing harsh realities of life that he renounced home at age of 29 he left his family and became a wandering ascetic in search of knowledge and truth deceased person Finally he decided to find his own path to realization and meditated for 49 days under a people tree at Bodh Gaya in Bihar where he attained enlightenment at age of 35 The story of Buddha Siddhartha After that he was known as Buddha or the wise one He then went to Sarna near Varanasi where he taught for the first time He then spent the rest of his life traveling on foot from place to place teaching people till he passed away at Kushinagar
Buddha thought that life is full of sufferings and unhappiness. This is caused because we have desires which are not always fulfilled. Sometimes even if when we get what we want, even then we are not happy as we want more or some other things. When we are in pain, we want it to go. When we are in pleasure, then too we are not fully enjoying. Life as we get insecure that it may last one day. Buddha described this thirst as tanha and thought that it could be removed by following moderation in everything and practicing different forms of meditation. He told about eightfold path and the middle path of avoiding both the extremes of luxury and asceticism. The noble eightfold paths, right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right concentration, right mindfulness. He also taught people to be kind and to respect the lives of others, including animals. dead body Upanishad. Let me see what is Upanishad. Upanishad means approaching and sitting near and the text contains conversations between students and teacher in simple dialogues. They had answers related to questions of life and death. What is life? What is death? What happens after death? And why sacrifices should be performed? Many of these thinkers felt that there was something permanent in the universe that would last even death. They described this as Atman or individual soul and the Brahman or the universal soul. They believed that ultimately both are one. Most thinkers were men, Brahmans and Rajas. Many were also women. For example, Gargi, famous for her learning and participated in debates and royal courts. Poor people rarely were allowed to take part in these discussions. One famous exception was Satyakama Jabala, who was named after his mother, a slave woman Jabali. Many of the other ideas of Upanishads were later developed by the famous Sankaracharya. Upanishad. Let me see what is Upanishad. Upanishad means approaching and sitting near and the text contains conversations between students and 
teacher in simple dialects. They had answers related to questions of life and death. He told about eightfold path and the middle path of avoiding both the extremes of luxury and asceticism. The noble eightfold paths right view, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right concentration, right mindfulness. He also taught people to be kind and to respect the lives of others including animals. Jainism. In Jain tradition, there are 24 Tirthankaras, the first being Rishabh Deva or Adinath, and the last being Mahavira. Vishnu Purana and Bhagavad Purana describe Rishabh Deva as incarnation of Narayana. We have historic proof of the last two of them, that is Parshvanath and Mahavira. Buddha thought that life is full of sufferings and unhappiness. This is caused because we have desires which are not always fulfilled. Sometimes even if when we get what we want, even then we are not happy as we want more or some other things. Many of the other ideas of Upanishad. Let me see what is Upanishad. Upanishad means approaching and sitting near. And the text contains conversations between students and teacher in simple dialogues. They had answers related to questions of life and death. What is life? What is death? What happens after death and why sacrifices should be performed? The story of Buddha Siddhartha, also known as Gautama, was born about 2500 years ago in a Sakya Kshatriya Gana in Lumbini, Nepal. His father was the Jainism. In Jain tradition, there are 24 Tirthankaras, the first being Rishabh Deva or Adinath, and the last being Mahavira. Vishnu Purana and Bhagavad Purana describe Rishabh Deva as incarnation of Narayana. Poor people rarely were allowed to part in these discussions. One famous exception was Satyakama Jabala, who was named after his mother a slave woman Jabali. Many of the other ideas of Upanishads were later developed by the famous Sankaracharya.
monasteries. Monks went from place to place throughout the year to teach people. They stayed at one place only in rainy seasons. At that time, people built temporary shelters for them in gardens or they lived in caves in hilly areas. The story of Buddha. Siddhartha, also known as Gautama, was born about 2500 years ago in a Sakya Kshatriya Gana in Lumbini, Nepal. His father was the king of Kapilavastu. The members of Sangha and his other followers spread the religion to various parts of India and beyond to China, Japan, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Indonesia, Tibet and Myanmar. Thank you students.